Hello, Vinyl Community, how are you? Cheers, I'm Gary, and this is Physical Format Rock and Roll. This is my latest installment of my series called Why I Love This Song. It's pretty simple. I just take a song that I have always loved uh, normally for quite a few years and just tell you a little bit about why I love it. Today, we're going with Hair the Dog by Nazareth. This is the uh, title track from their sixth studio album from 1975 by this Scottish hard rocking band. Um, now the, uh, it was the B-side to the Love Hurts single, but of course it became a hit on its own. And it's funny because this song, well, first off, let me say that the title itself, Hair of the Dog, and you're thinking, well, that doesn't even uh, appear in this song, right? We all think of it as the son of a bitch song. But it's called Hair of the Dog. That's actually supposed to be a little bit of a play on words. Uh, as in the heir, like an heir to a fortune, heir of the dog, heir of the bitch, son of a bitch. You get it? There you go. Ha <laughs> ha. Pretty funny. So I was like 10 years old uh, when I first heard this song when it came out. And I can actually remember hearing it on the radio, uh, especially like on, on an AM station or whatever, where they would bleep, bleep it out. So every time it said son of a bitch, it would bleep, bleep it out. And so it was quite a while before I, you know, actually heard the real version of it. Uh, and, you know, when you're young like that, I mean, you're older you hear that song right he's saying that throughout the song it's kind of like oh man you know this kind of gets you pumped up especially if you're uh just a kid and you're not used to hearing something like that in music music was a little different than it is nowadays of course but this song is just you know what's not to love in this song um this is just a great 1970s kick ass rock song it's got Everything in there you would want with this type of a song. Uh, starting off with Daryl Sweet with that amazing drum beat and cowbell. Let's take a listen for a second. That's just great. That you know that that starts out the song. That already gives you this great feeling when you hear that. It is hard not to be pumped up right away when you hear that. And then you've got the late, great Dan McCafferty's razor blade vocals in this song. Uh, he sings like he's just, you know, took a shot of whiskey and sings it all the way through. It gets so high pitched at times. It's like, oh my God, I, I wish I could sing like that. Uh, you know, this was like, a big ACDC hit that ACDC never did. Uh, so you've got that going on. Then, of course, you got that riff. I tried messing around with this for a minute last night. Uh, as far as this riff goes, it's fairly simple, but I still have a hard time with the tempo of it. Comes out, right? We've got the drums, the cowbell going, and then... <clears throat> I can't get the timing of that right, and I will explain why in just a second. But uh, you've got that verse going on the whole time. He's singing over. Of course, it goes like, you know, from G to A, goes up and goes back down. The chorus, uh, you can fill this in if you want. Sing along, you know. Now you're all messing with the son of a bitch. Messing with the son of a got that going in uh that's a chorus of course is pretty simple this is you know just a straightforward rock song and of course it's a 1970s so we've got that talk box section there isn't really a guitar solo i don't think it's just a talk box which i don't know it's kind of like you know it's 
something like that, right? Goes along those lines. Uh, the reason why I said I have a problem with the timing is because when I went to try to, I listened to the record and tried to learn to play that. Um, let me see here. Get a more clean sound. That, you know, okay, you know. Does that sound like anything else? Because here's what it really reminded me of. Right? I don't know. It, that really reminds me of Day Tripper a little bit. And I think that's why I had a, a very hard time with the timing of that song to try to show you the riff a little bit. But anyway, that doesn't matter, right? I'm not here to give you a guitar lesson. Uh, another part, you know, the lyrics in this song, it starts out, of course, it's got Heartbreaker, Soul Shaker, I've Been Told About You, Steamroller, Midnight Stroller, What They've Been Saying Must Be True. So it's all about, oh man, here comes some woman, she's used to pushing people around. But then he says, Red Hot Mama, Velvet Charmer, Time's Come to Pay Your Dues, right? So this woman is used to getting her way. She's used to bossing men around and everything. And now this guy comes up and he says, all right, now, now you're messing with me. Now you're messing with the son of a bitch. But when I hear this song too, and I'm sure a lot of you are like this, you don't necessarily think of it in those terms as you just think of it as kind of just this badass, this badass kind of song. Maybe you've had this scenario where you picture yourself, you're in a bar somewhere, you're just minding your own business, having a drink, and there's some woman in the background, and you got a couple, you know, this is a redneck bar, a couple rednecks harassing her and everything, you know, you tell her, you'd say, hey, just, just leave her alone, guys, and of course, you know, they would be like, oh yeah, well, who are you? Maybe you better just shut up and get out, so, you know, you start to walk out, and they're going, yeah, you better walk out and you go, oh no, I'm not leaving. I just had to do something first. You know, maybe take down their Confederate flag they got hanging on the wall, set it on fire, boom, you hit the jukebox and Nazareth hair the dog comes on and you grab your cue stick and, you know, beat the hell out of him. That type of scenario. I don't know, maybe you picture that. That's kind of what I picture in this song. Just that song. This song is just a badass 1970s rock and roll song. I will never get sick of it. That is why I love this song. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Gary. This is Physical Format Rock and Roll. Until the next time, my friends, I will see you down the road.